This is one of the biggest discoveries in physics in the 21st century. We detected the collision of two neutron stars and these two neutron stars, they spiralled in on one another. For about 70 seconds we saw this spiral in, gravitational waves, and then they collided. It created this huge explosion called a short gamma ray burst. And this short gamma ray burst was subsequently detected by a couple of space-based gamma ray telescopes. And then for the subsequent couple of weeks after that, we've been observing the emission in different wavelengths of light, including in UV, optical and radio waves. This is the first ever time that we've observed a collision such as this or anything in the universe using both gravitational waves and light. So this opens up a completely new field of astronomy where we're able to study these objects in unprecedented detail by using what's called multi-messenger astronomy. These two neutron stars, they collided approximately 100 million light years away from Earth, which is to say that they collided 100 million years ago. And the gravitational waves, as well as the light, has been traveling towards our gravitational wave detector and also towards our telescopes for 100 million years before we finally detected it on the 17th of August of 2017. Monash University was involved in the first discovery of gravitational waves with the LIGO scientific collaboration. And this first discovery in 2015 came from the collision of two black holes, each with mass approximately 30 times the mass of our sun. LIGO is a collaboration of more than a thousand people across the globe. In Australia, we have six universities involved, including Monash University. And we have a centre of excellence called OzGrav, which is funded by the Australian Research Council. Monash has played a huge role in LIGO for a number of years now. We've been working on understanding astrophysics, doing the data analysis, really trying to dig out these really minute signals out of some really noisy data. Personally, I've been involved in trying to understand the physics of neutron star mergers, what happens when two neutron stars collide into each other, what we can learn about that collision and what we can learn about fundamental physics that we would have no chance of learning about in a laboratory here on Earth because we simply can't create those conditions. <laughs>